let you go See, I've been waiting all day For you to call me baby So let's get up, let's get on it Don't you leave me broken hearted tonight Hey guys, so today I am doing my June favorites and I'm really excited because June is over, it's now July obviously, um, and I'm going to be showing you guys my favorite products and favorite things for the month of June. I had such an amazing month in June, I was very busy so I'm sorry I wasn't able to post that many videos in June, but I'm really excited to be back and posting more videos for you guys, so if you have any specific video requests, go ahead and leave that in the comments below and I'm going to make sure that I read through all of them and everything. And I am filming in my room right now and I feel like I haven't filmed in my my room for a long time but I did make a few adjustments to it not a really big change just a little bit so I'm really excited for you guys to see it in my room tour so many of you guys have been asking me to do room tour and yes I'm going to be doing a room tour hopefully one of my next few videos will be the room tour so I'm super super excited for it and I hope you guys are too so leave a comment below if you are excited for that and I think I'm gonna go ahead and get into my June favorites Okay, so my first favorite beauty product for June has been the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. Are you kidding me? When I found out that Maybelline came out with a BB Cream, I freaked out because you guys know how obsessed I am with BB Creams. And I still love my Smashbox one, but I think that this is just a great alternative if you don't want to spend like $40 on one. I think this one was like $8 to $10. So it blends very nicely. It gives you a nice amount of coverage and it feels very, very light on your skin. And also it has SPF 30 in it. Lately I've been like alternating between this one and my Smashbox one so I've kind of been like switching it up and using both of them like one day I'll use this one one day I'll use Smashbox you know um, but I really love this BB cream and I totally recommend it because it's awesome okay next favorite has been my MAC mineralized skin finish natural I used to use this I think like two years ago and then I just stopped using it for some reason so I decided to buy a new one this year and I have been loving it so much it's just a really nice powder that looks super natural so it like sets your foundation and your concealer but then it just like blends blends in very nicely with your skin and looks like you don't have like really caked powder all over your face if you get what I'm saying. Okay and I have two favorite blushes for June. The first one is by Physicians Formula and I believe this is called the Happy Booster. It's supposed to like boost your mood and it actually smells really good. And when I smell it, it kind of makes me happy, so I guess it, like, boosts my mood. So what I do is I take my blush brush and I, like, swirl it around and then I apply it to my cheeks. And it gives my skin the most glowy, gorgeous look. So it gives me a really nice blush color, but it looks really natural, which I love. And also, it's probably one of the most pretty blush colors I've ever owned in my life. So I love it. And it makes my face smell good, which is really weird, but I don't know. I love the smell. Okay, my next favorite blush for June is this blush by YSL. It's a cream blush in the shade number 5, I think. But as you can tell, it is a bright, bright neon pink color. Super, super bright. So this is like on those days in the summertime when I want to have like really bold makeup, I will put this blush on. And as you can tell, you do not need much of this because it's so intense and pigmented. So I just like blend this onto my cheeks and it's just really bold and bright and I think it's really fun for the summer. And also I love that it's a cream because it keeps my skin moisturized on the hot days. So that is awesome. Okay, next I've been loving this Urban Decay Glow light on eye pencil in black because I love black eyeliner that's like all I wear but this eye pencil is so so amazing it's super creamy it like glides onto my um, waterline and it stays there all day which I love and the mascara that I've been using is actually kind of a surprise for me because I passed this up so much in the drugstore and I just never bought it and then I decided to give it a chance. It is the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara and actually my friend Taylor, she's a makeup artist, and she actually introduced me to this mascara and I was like, you know what, I'm going to try it out. So I was very impressed with this mascara because it gives my lashes so much volume and I was scared that this one was going to clump a lot, but actually this one clumps less than the Maybelline Falsies does, which really, really surprised me. So I've kind of been liking this one more than the Falsies, which is a lot coming from me because I love Falsies and the Mega Plush, but I've been liking this one better than both of those. It is so amazing. So I give Colossal a total thumbs up because it's a really great mascara and I'm definitely going to repurchase it. Okay, and my lips have been getting so like dry and chapped lately, so I've been going to my Yes to Carrots Lip Butter, and this one is the melon one. The melon is my favorite out of all the flavors. I don't know what it is. 
it just smells good and it feels super great on my lips. Normally I would use like the EOS lip balm, like the little egg, or I'd use like Burt's Bees, but I decided to give this one a try and it has become my favorite lip balm right now. Okay, my next favorite is this MAC Tender Tone in Hot and Saucy, and this has SPF 12 also. You can tell like so many of my favorites this month have SPF in them because I'm really trying to like protect my skin from the sun because it's very important. But this is a bright red tender tone, and if you don't know what a tender tone is, it's kind of like a lip balm, but it has like a little bit of a gloss and shine to it. And I'm sorry it looks really weird, because on the plane it like went upside down, I don't know, really odd. But it's just a very pretty like sheer red lip color, and as you can tell when you blend it out it gets very sheer, so it's not a super like bam red in your face lip color, it's like sheer and pretty. So I really like that, and it smells like kiwis. Oh my gosh. I'm not kidding right now. It smells like kiwis. Oh, it's so good. Next favorite is a nail polish. And this is by China Glaze. And it is in the shade Purple Panic. Purple Panic. Yeah, it's on my nails right now, and I love this one because it kind of reminds me of like a purple highlighter. I know that's really weird, but I just think it's a really fun, bright color, and it's such a unique purple to me. Because I have a lot of purple nail polish, but I don't have one that looks like this. It's just kind of like almost a pinky purple, which I think is really cool. And also, it's matte. It doesn't have like any shimmer or glitter. It's not even a cream. It dries into this matte finish, which I think is so, so awesome. Okay, my favorite perfume for June is actually the Vera Wang Princess perfume because I had like one of those gift cards from forever ago when I got like the Sephora sampler set so I was like oh I'm gonna use this so I went to the store and I decided to get the Vera Wang Princess one for free and my sister actually used to have this perfume she used to wear it all the time and she was like obsessed with it and I just never really cared for it that much but then I decided to try it out and I don't know why but it smells so good to me Oh, it's so, so yummy, and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it too, which is great. Um, and also the bottle is so adorable. Do you guys see this right now? It has like this little crown and these little jewels, and it's a heart-shaped bottle. And also the perfume is like this light purple color. Ah, it's so cute! Um, so I've been loving this perfume. As you can tell, I've used quite a bit of it already, and I've been wearing this one almost every day now. Okay, so those are all of my beauty favorites for June, and now, of course, you guys know what time it is. It is time for my non beauty favorites. Okay, so first thing, this is typical, this is like typical Bethany, Cocoa Pebbles. They're just so, so good, and if I could only eat one cereal for the rest of my life, this is what I would eat. I don't even know how to explain it. They're just like little pebbles of cocoa, and they're so good. So, I've been loving Cocoa Pebbles, and I want you to leave a comment below of your favorite cereal, because cereal is just an awesome thing. Next thing is a beverage, and this is the Lipton Green Tea Citrus. This stuff is so, so good. So this one is just like room temperature, but sometimes what I do, since it gets really, really hot in California, I'll just like throw one of these into the freezer, so it gets like a little bit icy, but not to the point where it's frozen. And then I take it out, and it's so cold, it tastes delicious. So Green Tea Citrus has been awesome, and I totally love this stuff. Next favorite, um, oh my gosh, one second. Okay, lace dresses have been one of my favorite things to wear for the summer lately. I've been wearing them a lot um, on the Make Me Over show because I just think that they're so easy and they look very girly. So this one is by H&M and it's hot pink and you can tell it's just like a tank top dress and it's just this really pretty lace flowy dress and I like this because you can wear it like dressy you can add like a cool necklace and some heels or you can wear it with like a jean jacket and some flats and it would be casual so I really like that and then also this lace dress is from Urban Outfitters and it's just short sleeve and the color is so pretty it reminds me of like an otter pop or something it's this bright blue and as you can tell it's just lace and it flows out as well so lace dresses have been one of my favorite things to wear lately because I just think they're so pretty and they're really easy to kind of dress up or dress down. Colored pants. So, colored pants. I feel like I'm so colorful lately. I have like so many colorful things. Um, but I've really just been into kind of like bright colored jeans. These ones are from Target and they are bright pink. They remind me of like cotton candy because they're so fun colored. And then these ones I got when I was in Pasadena at IMAX. I didn't get them at IMAX, but it was like at the shopping center across from IMAX. Um, they're just like mint green pants. So basically just colored jeans in general I've really been liking. So yeah, I've been loving that. My next favorite for June is... 
my phone case. Okay, so I got this phone case in LA at Kitson, and I've been wanting a bunny phone case for so, so long. And I saw them there, and literally, you guys, I freaked out. I was so excited. I was like, ah! So I got the light pink one, of course, and I think it looks really cute since I have the white iPhone. I just think the white and the pink go cute together. So this had to make it in my June favorites. I cannot not put this in here. Like, it just had to make an appearance. Um, but I do want to name it. I know that's weird, but I want to name my phone case now because it's a bunny. So leave any name suggestions below. I was thinking, the name of it right here says Rabito. Rabito. I think that's kind of cute, but I don't know what you guys think. Okay, so now that I have my phone out, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my favorite song of the month. Okay, first one is Maria by Justin Bieber. This is from his new album. I have been loving Justin Bieber's new album in general because I think all the songs are awesome. But the song Maria is like my favorite one right now because it's about the girl who said that he was like the father to her baby and he wrote a song about it. So I will link that below so you can listen to it. Okay, next favorite song is actually I Want to Hold Your Hand but by Big Time Rush. I really love their version of this song. I'm going to link it below also. Oh my gosh, it is so amazing. Literally, I can listen to that song on repeat. I just think it's so fun and I like dance around to it in my room or like in the car. I don't know. It's weird. But um, yeah, I Want to Hold Your Hand by Big Time Rush. You guys should definitely listen to it if you haven't heard it yet. And then my last favorite song for June is probably Titanium. Um, I will link that one below. So I have three favorite songs again this month. I just can't pick one. So I'm going to have them all below. Oh, and I'm also going to link the skit that I did with Austinist TV called Slum Blast with Leah Marie Johnson and Coco Jones. It was so much fun filming that. Um, I don't know, it was really different for me, but I had a really, really, really cool, fun time. So I will have a link to that below. If you haven't seen it yet, you should definitely check it out and leave a comment and tell me what you think about it. And I think that's it. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Sorry. Out of town, girl, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. My hair is cray cray. It's so hot. I think you could hear my teeth. This is like one of those beauty products that if I could eat it, I would eat it because it smells so good. But I'm not going to eat it, so don't worry. I just thought of the blueberry video on YouTube. That was sad, but it was funny. Shake it up, shake up the happiness Wake it up, wake up the happiness Come on, yo, it's Christmas time Shake it up, shake up the happiness Wake it up, wake up the happiness Come on, yo, it's Christmas time oh, oh, oh. Today I'm going to be doing my November favorites And I'm really excited for this because I just love doing favorites videos I think they're so fun and I kind of look forward to doing them every single month so if you film a November favorites video then leave it as a video response below so that I can watch it and if you guys don't like to film videos then just leave a comment and be like yo Beth these are my favorites for November try them out so I'm gonna go ahead and get into my faves and oh one more thing on my vlog channel aka Bethany's life I have my countdown to Christmas series which is starting and I am so so excited for it you guys you have literally no idea. And we're going to be counting down to Christmas together because you guys are like my best friends and I can't think of anyone else better to count on to Christmas with than you guys. So, I'm going to go ahead and get in my favorites. I have two behind me because that's, that's just where they are. Okay, so my first favorite for November has been this nail polish, guys. This nail polish, oh my gosh, it's by China Glaze and it is in the shade Frostbite and it is just the prettiest like cobalt blue nail color and I've already like painted my nails this so many times, surprisingly I'm not wearing it right now, but when I first got it I was like painting it and painting it over and over again and I think I repainted my nails with this probably like five or six times like after it chipped because it is such a gorgeous color and this is like my go-to holiday nail polish right now. Next favorite, I have been loving my Revlon Colorstay foundation. I used to is my Smashbox HD foundation. I don't really remember the name of it, but it made me break out, guys. And I was like, what? Like, no. This was an expensive foundation, and the lady at Ulta actually told me to try it, and I tried it, and it was not good. So I went to Target, and I got Revlon Colorstay. And let me tell you guys, this works so amazingly well. It's very light on your skin. So this baby I've been using in November, and I just love it, and I think it's awesome. Okay, my next favorite is a hair product that I recently got at Urban Outfitters, and I was so impressed with it. Like, this is a really, really, really awesome hair product. It's a dry shampoo by the brand Batiste A, 
and I love it because it takes a lot of the oil out of my hair. Obviously, it doesn't make it look like I just washed my hair, but it is one of the best dry shampoos I've ever used hands down and the good thing about this one is it actually has a nice scent to it they have like four or five different ones and you can get any scent that you like this one is floral and flirty and it just smells like very florally but they had like an animal print one that was supposed to smell like wild and I don't know what wild is supposed to smell like but you can get wild but if you're looking for a good dry shampoo that smells good and works well then definitely pick this up from Urban Outfitters okay next favorite is my body lotion by Pink Victoria's Secret in Warm and Cozy, and you guys know I love this lotion. It smells so good. This is by far my favorite pink scent. It literally, I don't know how they do this. Like, it smells like something that would be warm and cozy, and I don't even understand it, but it's just a really, really good scent, and I totally recommend trying this out if you never have, guys. Just go smell it and try it out because it is amazing. So I just apply this all over my body when I get out of the shower or just any time throughout the day I apply this because I just love smelling warm and cozy. Okay, my favorite lip product for November has been this Raspberry Sorbet Lip Gloss by Philosophy. And I think I got this for like 5 or $6 at TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx has awesome Philosophy products, but what I love about their lip glosses is they actually smell like what the name is. So this smells just like raspberries. And the smell is like legit. Like I could close my eyes and I have raspberries in front of me right now, guys. There's raspberries. It's super pretty and it's very smooth on your lips. It's not a sticky gloss, which I love and it lasts a long time. So Philosophy glosses are amazing and I definitely recommend looking for them at TJ Maxx. And those are all of my beauty favorites. So now I have the non-beauty favorites and I have kind of a lot of non-beauty favorites this month. So the first one is a candle. This is from Bath and Body Works and it is mahogany teak wood. I believe that's how you say it and oh my gosh you guys. It smells just like Abercrombie & Fitch. Like, are you kidding me? I just, I can't. For so long, I've been obsessing with the Abercrombie & Fitch scent. Even when I was in middle school, I was obsessed with it. My whole room can now smell like Abercrombie & Fitch. And I think that's pretty awesome. So if you guys love the smell of Abercrombie & Fitch, go get this candle because you will be so amazed. Like, I was floored when I found this. Okay, so now I have a bunch of food favorites for November. Don't judge me. So my first one are these Tootsie Pops. Oh my goodness. I Instagrammed a picture of these and they are so delicious. So basically it's a Tootsie Pop, but it's covered with like a candy cane shell. These are so good. I'm addicted. I cannot stop eating these. They're an obsession. So Jet Puffed just totally gets me and they came out with these peppermint marshmallows. Like seriously, I've been throwing these in my hot chocolate because I love my hot chocolate to have marshmallows. And these are like little peppermint swirl marshmallows. They are so cute and they taste really, really good. I can just eat them plain because it's just like peppermint marshmallows. I mean, what's better than that, you know? So I've been really loving these marshmallows. Next non-beauty favorite is this water container. I got this at Walmart as well. I've been going to Walmart a lot because they have really cute stuff. But basically, this is a little plastic tumbler that I've been carrying my water and other drinks in. Mostly water, though. And it is Christmas themed. And oh my gosh, you guys. I've seen a lot of Christmas tumblers, but this one has a snow globe inside. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there is a straight up snow globe in there. And at the bottom, there's like this little twisty thing so you can like remove the snow globe. But when you remove it while there's liquid, it can just all pour out. But I think I'm going to do it. I think you guys would want me to do it. You ready? One, two, three. <gasps> just kidding. There's like more plastic right here so it doesn't spill out. But yeah, anyways, here's the little snow globe. And I just really love this cup. My Hunter Rain Boots. I featured these in my rainy day fashion video. And I just really love them. I love the color of them. And it's actually been raining a lot where I live, which I've been so excited about because I get to wear these a lot more. And I don't know what it is, but I just love rain boots in general. Like, rubber shoes is just really fun to me. So, I've been wearing my Hunter rain boots a lot lately. So, those are our favorite faux show. Oh, and one more favorite, guys. Somebody is here to see you. <laughs> oh, hey there. So, it is, again, another favorite of mine because it keeps me warm and I get to look like a tiger. And I love tigers, so... I really love this. And it's a little bit dirty right now because I kind of live in this thing. Like, all throughout wintertime, I just wear this everywhere. So that kind of causes me to, like, spill things on it and stuff. So don't pay attention to that. But yeah, I have been loving my tiger booty buddy. Yay! 
Okay, and we cannot forget about my music song favorites of the month. So I have my phone right here, and I'm going to pick out my favorite songs that I've been listening to the most for November. Okay, so my first favorite song of the month has been Home by Philip Phillips. I just love that song, you guys. I cannot get enough of it. It's just one of those amazing songs that I just listen to on repeat over and over and over again. See, I've been listening to that song a lot. It's been one of my favorites for quite a long time, but it's like one of those songs that I don't think I'm ever gonna get tired of, so I've been loving that. Oh, and another song that I've been loving, you guys know, Beth is obsessed with Christmas music, but one of my favorite Christmas songs right now is Baby It's Cold Outside, but Colby Calais, Calat, Calet, I think that's how you say her name, Colby's song, her version of it, is perfection. Baby can't stay, it's cold outside, I've got to go month is by Carly Rae Jepsen and it is her song Sweetie. Oh my goodness. This song is so fun and it's just like so catchy and I just jump around. I get ready to it in the morning. It is just a fun song and I love it to death. So I'm going to play it right now for you guys. I love that song. I cannot get over it. Mmm, so good. I just really love a lot of songs this month. So anyways, those are all my November favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and don't forget to leave your November favorites down below, or you can leave them in a comment. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you, and I'll see you later. Bye. I know you love me. You know you care. I'm pretty sure I just butchered that. But I don't care. Warm and cozy in a lotion, like, yes, please. Ah, I like to eat cookies. Oh, I forgot my lip gloss. Do you like my, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, why is it doing that? It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I look like Christmas. I don't know why I'm stuttering. I'm stuttering, I decided to be a little bit more serious in the video diaries. Serious. When we were young, oh, 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 we did enough. When it got cold, ooh, ooh we bundled up. I can't be told, I, I can't be done. It's better to feel pain than nothing at all. Hi, guys. So today I'm going to be doing my April favorites. Why? Why? Why do I always forget the month of my favorites? I don't know. Anyways, this month is April, so I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I have been loving for the month of April. And like always, I really want to see your guys' April favorites, so you can leave it in a video response below, or you can Instagram it to me, or something like that. And I'm really excited to show you guys my favorites this month because I just love everything and I want you guys to know about it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so my first favorite for the month of April has been my Milani Baked Bronzer that looks like this. So I have been using this bronzer so much because it has like gold veining in it. So I don't really use it as a bronzer because if I used it all over my face, I'd probably look like a disco ball and I don't want to look like a disco ball. So I just apply it as like blush and it gives me an amazing glow to my face. So I've been using this a lot for April. Get it right, Bethany. Get it right. Okay, my second favorite for April that I have been using so much is this Milani Brow Kit, and it's the Brow Fix Brow Kit. So it has a little highlighter for your eyebrows, and it has a light brown and a dark brown eyebrow powder. So I have been using this for my brows, and it's like its own cute little kit. It came with tweezers and an eyeliner brush, but I lost them. Next, I have been using this product like crazy. It's kind of insane. The Tarte BB Cream. So I have tried many different BB creams, and you guys know this, and this is my favorite one right now because I've noticed that most drugstore BB creams tend to be a little bit lighter and they don't really give you as much coverage and this one gives me a lot of coverage which I love. It also has a 12 hour primer, it's buildable coverage, oil free moisturizer, pore minimizer, skin brightener and it's a chemical free sun protector so this protects my skin from the sun because it has been getting so sunny out lately and I love it so I definitely recommend this product if you're looking for a good BB cream. And I lost the cap, so it just got all over my fingers. 
My favorite mascara for April has been the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara and I actually started using this because I ran out of my favorite mascara and I just found this one that I hadn't really used that much and I pulled it out and started using it and I was like, oh, I really like this mascara. It makes them super long and it fills them in. It kind of clumps like a tiny bit but it's not a really bad clump. It's kind of like a good clump. I never thought there could be a good clump. I don't know. I like it. And I think it's pretty sweet. So I've been using this a lot on my lashes. Don't worry, I didn't break it. <laughs> okay, and for my lippies, I've been using this lip butter by Revlon. It is in the shade Sorbet. And just by looking at the packaging, you can already tell that this is a super bright and fun color for spring and summer. And this is what it looks like. It's super bright and I love it. It reminds me of like watermelon and strawberries. So I've been wearing this on my lips. Oh, and I also really like this one in the lip butters. This is the one I'm wearing right now. It's Wild Watermelon. Look at this, you guys. It's just like a bright reddish pink and it is one of the prettiest colors that I have in my lip product collection so I really like this one too. Both of these I just love to death and they're like my go-to lip colors right now so I've been wearing those like crazy. Okay now if you guys follow me on Instagram then you probably know about these already but I have been obsessed with using the Sally Hansen Salon Effects little stick on nail things and what I do is I pick out one and I put them on my ring finger and then I paint the rest of my nails just one solid color so this one is the one I'm wearing right now it's called Girl Flower so that's kind of just like my new thing right now that I'm really into because it looks like really professional people have asked me like did you get your nails done at the salon I'm like no I did it myself because fun fact, I absolutely hate going to nail salons because it just feels like they're torturing me. I don't know why. I don't like people to clip my nails or file my nails or like push back my ugh, cuticles. And my last favorite beauty product for April is my Body Splash by Victoria's Secret. This is the Mango Temptation and I have been wearing this all the time recently because when it gets hotter outside, I don't know why, but I kind of like to switch to body splashes and body mists instead of perfumes because I don't know why. It's kind of weird. But this one smells so perfect like oh <coughs> I, I think I just like burnt my nostrils I literally taste perfume in my throat right now this is disgusting but I just like to spray this all over and it makes me smell good all day so this is what I have been smelling like 24 7 recently okay so those are all of my favorite beauty products for April and now we have the non beauty favorites okay first off can we just talk about my obsession with beanies recently. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know about my obsession with beanies. I wear them all the time. They are perfect if you're having a bad hair day. Just slip on a beanie and it looks super cute and you just did nothing. I really like the Brandy Melville beanies like this one because they have little quotes. This one says, you can't sit with us, which is kind of mean, but if you know like the reference, it's from Mean Girls, so it's just funny to me. But obviously, you guys can sit with me because you're just awesome. So yeah, I really like this one, but the one thing about Brandy Melville beanies is they're really, really thick, so they're kind of better for like fall and winter time when it's actually cold outside, but for the spring, I have been getting so many Neff beanies. These are really, really thin and lightweight. It literally feels like you're not even wearing anything on your head because they're so light. And speaking of hair accessories, I've really been into these little bow hair ties. I got these at Brandy Melville and I showed them in my last video. So they just look like this. And I am obsessed with bows, you guys already know that. But recently I've just been wearing my hair half up, half down with a little bow. And I think it's really cute and it's a nice way to get your hair out of your face. But still make it look really cute and adorable. Okay, one more fashion favorite. These shorts have been... Basically my addiction, they're from Brandy Melville, and they are little sunflower shorts. When I first saw these, I was like, are those pajamas? But I figured out that they are not pajamas, and you can actually wear them in public. And the thing about these guys, they're so comfortable. Like, I'm not even joking, it feels like you're wearing pajamas. But if you wear them with, like, a sweater and some cute shoes, and you kind of dress it up, it looks really cute. So I have been addicted to these, and this is my only pair, so I kind of want to get a black pair. Because if I wear these, like, three days in a row, people will know notice but if I wear like a black pair people won't really notice so yeah I've been wearing these a lot they're from Brandy Melville and I'm obsessed with them and my next favorite oh! okay so if you guys are not aware Baja Blast Freezes from Taco Bell are basically the most amazing frozen drink ever and those are definitely one of my favorites for April but I also recently discovered the pink lemonade freezes which are just as good as Baja Blast Freeze they're just both amazing so I definitely recommend trying one of the two because they're so good 
And speaking of drinks, I've also been loving the green tea iced lattes from Starbucks. I love the green tea frappuccinos, but when I tried the green tea iced latte, oh, I just, I don't think I will ever get a green tea frappuccino again because the green tea lattes are so good. Oh, and another Starbucks drink that I've really been into, I feel like I have so many favorite drinks this month, but it is the cotton candy frappuccino from Starbucks, and I showed it on my keek, but basically it's just vanilla bean frappuccino with a pump of raspberry, and it tastes, I'm not even kidding you guys, like cotton candy. Like, are you kidding me? That's just, it's perfect. So those are my four favorite drinks this month. I don't know why I have so many favorite beverages, but uh, yeah. Okay, so now it is time for my favorite songs of the month. Here's my phone case. I got a new one and it's floral. Whee! Okay, so my first favorite song of the month, I've actually been listening to a lot of Casey Moosegraves. I don't know if that's how you say her name. Anyways, her new album is absolutely amazing and I love all the songs on it, but my favorite two songs from her album would probably be Keep It To Yourself and Silver Lining and Follow Your Arrow. Okay, I have three favorite songs from her new album and they are just awesome. If you've never heard of her, then definitely check her out. I'll have links to my favorite songs from her down below. Another one of my favorite songs for April that I've been listening to like crazy is Stubborn Love by The Lumineers. The Way by Ariana Grande featuring Mac Miller. Okay, I actually didn't listen to that song that much in the beginning. I just wasn't really into it. And then I started hearing it on the radio and listening to it more. And then I became addicted to this song. Ooh, and Fall Down by Will I Am and Miley Cyrus. O-M to the G. I love it. I love that song. It just makes me want to get up and dance. Actually, I do get up and dance to it all the time because it's so good. So yeah, those are all of my favorite songs for the month of April, and let me know what your favorite songs are below because I want to download some new ones. And like last month, I'm actually going to be giving away some of my favorites this month because I just think it's really fun to give one person out there some of my favorite things for the month. So I'm going to be giving away the Milani Baked Bronzer, but this is obviously a brand new one. And you're also going to get the Revlon Lip Butter and Sorbet, the Telescopic Mascara, and one of the little Sally Hansen nail stickers because they're amazing. So you're going to get the same one that I'm actually wearing right now, and... A little hair bow from Brandy Melville. So if you want to win some of my favorites this month, all you have to do is give this video a thumbs up and add it to your favorites. And then just leave a comment below telling me what some of your favorites are for April. And then I'm just going to pick a random winner. So I hope you guys enjoyed my April favorites. And I'm going to go. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Got my drink. Baby, you got me. I got a bad boy, I must admit it. Hey, yo. Call mom. Call mom. Mom! What? Calling mom. I phone. Can you bring me my Baja Blast? Hi. Sassy mix, sassafras. Okay, so my first favorite song of the month, I've actually been eating. <gasps> oh, okay. Hmm. Uh-huh. I don't know where I just got that from. I think it was like an episode of Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Oh my gosh! Disney Channel Throwback Thursday. Wednesday. Is today Wednesday? video in a really long time and that's probably because I didn't do my December favorites but today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I have been loving for January and like always I want to know what you guys loved for January so you can leave it as a video response below or you can tweet it to me or you can leave a comment below if you tweet it to me then put hashtag January favorites so that I can find it easily so anyways I have this little basket right here that has a few of my favorites in it and I thought it was cute because it's pink and it has like little hearts and it reminded me of Valentine's Day. I'm obsessed, I know. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get into my favorite things for January because I have some really great things to show you guys. So let's get started. All right, my first favorite for January has been a BB cream. You guys know I love BB creams and I feel like I've tried so many already and this one is my favorite right now. It's the Revlon Photo Ready BB Cream and I love this one because it reminds me a lot of the Smashbox BB Cream and it just gives me amazing 
coverage and it feels so light on my skin because the problem with liquid foundation is it can sometimes feel really heavy but not this guy it feels light it gives you a good amount of coverage it has SPF 30 so it's perfect for protecting your skin from the sun and everything and overall I have just been loving this BB cream and I definitely recommend it okay then I have some favorite blushes this month and it's kind of a surprise because these are actually from the drugstore and I really don't normally like drugstore blushes I don't know what it is I just feel like blushes aren't the drugstores like strongest point but recently I I found some blushes at the drugstore that are amazing. They're so incredible and I'm like obsessed with them. They are the Milani Baked Blushes. They're just like domed shaped and then bam, there's like a little mirror right there. But I have the colors Luminosa, which I wear this one the most because it's just like a soft peachy color. Then I have Coralina, which is a bright corally color with some gold shimmer. And then I have Dulce Pink, which is just a rosy pink. But overall, the Milani Baked Blushes are so awesome because they're really pink pigmented and they all have like a little bit of shimmer in them which when you put it on your face it just gives you this amazing glow and I am just in love with how these blushes look on my skin. I want to go get all the rest of the shades of these because I think they're so pretty. Okay my favorite mascara for January has been the Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara and I love this one because I feel like I say this so much but it makes it look like I'm wearing false lashes and I know I've said that so many times about different mascaras but honestly I think it's safe to say out of all the mascaras I've ever used this one makes it look most like false lashes it just makes them so long and full and honestly the more that you apply the mascara the longer your lashes get like I was applying it the other day and I was like oh that's cool oh oh my gosh like they were just getting longer like they were just growing and I was like that is pretty cray cray also it doesn't feel like very clumpy on my lashes which is great it doesn't feel heavy at all so I've been loving this mascara then I have two favorite lip products for January the first one are the Color Whisper Lip Products. I think they're from L'Oreal. I'm not sure. It doesn't say. And the color that I've been wearing mostly lately is Petal Rebel because it reminds me of Rebel Wilson and she's my BFF. She just doesn't know it yet. And as you can tell, it's kind of just like a pastel-y, like bright pink lip color. And it's going to be so pretty for the springtime. But I've already been wearing it nonstop because I think it's a really gorgeous color. Okay, then my favorite lip gloss for January, I'm wearing today. And it is by the brand, I'm not sure how to say this. It's either Kors or Caress. It is in the shade Fuchsia. And this is by far one of my favorite lip glosses because it is just the prettiest, like red and hot pink lip gloss. It has a little bit of glitter. And I don't know why, but it just reminds me of Valentine's Day. Like, I look at it and I'm just like, oh, Valentine's Day in a tube right here. It's like cherry, watermelon, mixed with a little bit of magic. I don't know. It just smells really good. So I have been wearing this lip gloss a lot in January. Okay, and as for favorite nail polish, I'm wearing my favorite nail polish today, and I'm wearing it on my toes too, but I don't think I should show you guys my toes, because you probably don't want to see them. Anyways, it is by the Selena Gomez Nicole by OPI nail polish line, but my favorite one has been Scarlet, and it is just the prettiest, like, watermelon, shimmery pink nail polish I've ever seen in my life, and I have just been repainting my nails with this color, and I totally recommend getting it or just checking out her nail polish line, because they're all amaze beans. So those are all of my beauty favorites, and of course now I gotta show you guys my non-beauty favorites. Okay, so first one, can we just talk about this, guys? Pitch Perfect! Ah! This is my favorite movie ever. It is the most hilarious movie I've ever seen, and I love it to death. And the other day, I actually watched it like four times in a row, like back to back to back to back. So if you have not seen Pitch Perfect, guys, please go see it. Rent it, buy it, whatever you gotta do. Just watch it, and then let me know what you think. And if you don't watch it, then Fat Amy will be really mad at you. And she'll be like, mm, better not. Better not be your friend. Just saying. Okay, then I have a fashion favorite. Now, I have been wearing these things all throughout, like, December and January, and it is patterned sweaters, and I'm wearing one right now. This is just a pink and white polka dot sweater, and then I also got the same sweater in black and white form, and then I also have this star sweater. Oh my gosh, I have been loving star sweaters, so if you know where to get any cute star sweaters, then let me know. I have this one that has green stars all over it, and then, of course, this one you guys saw in my Carrie Diaries video with all the little black hearts 
cats all over it. Oh, and one more thing. Let me just grab it out of behind me. I've been wearing my Converse like crazy lately because they're so comfy and they're cute and they just go with any outfit I want them to. And I have a few other colors, but leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite color of Converse are because I'm going to be getting a few new pairs because these I have just been obsessed with and I feel like I'm going to be a Converse hoarder because they're just my jam and I love them. Alright guys, if you follow me on Instagram or Twitter, then you probably know about my obsession with this. Green tea frappuccinos from Starbucks. Okay, so I've always been a fan of green tea, but I never wanted to try the green tea frappuccinos because I just didn't think they'd taste good. But one day I was like, Bethany, suck it up and just try it. So I tried it one day and now I'm in love with these and it's a really bad addiction because they are so amazing. But overall, if you don't like to get coffee at Starbucks, I definitely recommend trying the green tea frappuccinos or the vanilla bean frappuccinos. Those are really good too. Green tea frappuccinos and vanilla bean frappuccinos are my favorite things at Starbucks right now. Now this favorite I have been eating like every morning recently and that is Cinnamon Jacks. So these are a new cereal by Kellogg's and I used to always love the Apple Jacks so when I saw that they came out with Cinnamon Jacks I was like ooh I gotta get those and they taste delicious. They are so good. I actually had them for lunch one day. Don't judge me. I hope I'm not the only one who has cereal for lunch. Please tell me I'm not. Alright, so that's it for all the random stuff. Now, the last part of my favorites video, of course, my favorite songs of the month. So, I have my phone right here. And by the way, my case is from Charlotte Roos. But this little part right here, there was like a cover to cover the mirror and I broke it. Oh my gosh. Okay, first favorite song of the month has been Turn Around by Connor Maynard. I hope I'm saying that right. This song is so amazing, and he is so amazing, and I just love the song. It's just really fun, and I like get ready to it in the morning, and I do my hair, and it's just a really awesome song. If you need a song to like get pumped up and like dance around, then this is the song for you. Oh my gosh, Merry Go Round by Casey Mus. I don't know how to say her last name, but the song Merry Go Round I have been listening to a lot. It's just an amazing country song, and if you have not heard it, I will have a link to that below as well. This is just like my favorite album for January, Justin Bieber's Believe acoustic album, Beautimus. I really love the acoustic version of As Long As You Love Me. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And then there's three new songs that he came out with on this album, and I love all three of them, but my favorite of the three would probably be I Would, just because it's really cute. But Yellow Raincoat and Nothing Like Us are so sad, and I'm just like, Bieber. I just want to give him a hug. But yeah, so I've been loving the whole Believe acoustic album because it is amazing. So I will have links to my favorite songs from that album below. So anyways, I think that's it for my January favorites. I know I kind of had a lot of favorites this month, but I want to know what your favorites are so you can leave that in a comment or a video response or you can tweet it to me or whatever you guys want to do. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you for infinity. Okay, I think I should go. Bye, guys. Mascara for... Oh! My life. Dropping mascaras everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness! You have to wake up, you sleep person! <laughs> so I may or may not have thrift shop stuck in my head and can't get it out. Save me! Namaste! Forget Namaste! It's JB Day. You look nice. This is that terrifying moment when like the cereal box is empty. So the ground basically just attacked me. Okay, I think that's enough guys. We partied too hard.